to show you how to make your own screencast. Okay, so uh, what's going to uh, happen here is I'm going to open a, a test student account, um, just like your account, uh, and um, and then I'm going to use a tool called Screencast-O-Matic, which is a, a website that's available to all of you. You don't need, really even need to download anything. It just allows you to do a screencast. Uh, you'll create the screencast. You're going to save it to your computer. And then your assignment will be to take that screencast and actually upload it to YouTube, to your YouTube account and then uh, send me an email with a link to your video. Okay, now what's interesting is I need you to make a screencast of something. Okay, so what I've decided is you need to uh, create a screencast that teaches somebody how to put a link to a website into an email. All right, and I'm going to demonstrate this whole process to you right now. Okay, so uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, open my screen with you. Okay. And I'm going to open this test account. Okay, so now you see that account. Um, you can see here I'm logged in as 99 Steens Mark. That's, that's just like one of your accounts on Calvin Christian's uh, Google Apps account. Okay, now the first thing um, that you're going to want to do is start your screencast. So you can open a new window. This, by the way, up here is called the Omnibox. And it allows you up here. This allows you not only to type in a URL, but it also allows you to search. Um, so I'm going to type in screencast. And already, you can see the website popped up here down here. So normally, I would just click on it. I'm not sure if yours will pop up that fast. So I'm going to go and continue typing screencastomatic.com. Okay. Now this is the website I want you to use. Now what's really cool about the site is it automatically creates a video of whatever's on your computer screen. Now you need to have your microphone plugged in. Okay, and that's important. And the mics that we're using at school um, actually, um, they need a little boost. So actually let me go ahead and and show you what that thing looks like. When you plug in, oh, that's not even it. Oh, I hope I can get it to show. Oh, my goodness. I'm going to have to. Ah, there we go. Sometimes it takes me a few minutes to find something as well. So um, what, I, what I did, and, and actually this screen is probably going to pop up as soon as you plug in your microphone. But what I need you to do here, this is showing the recording volume of the mic. And with the mics we're using, even when you turn this all the way up, um, it might not be loud enough to actually um, make a good video. So what you need to do is hit this button. This is the microphone boost. On my computer, I have it up all the way. You probably can just put it at like 20 dB. I think that's the setting here, um, right at this line. That's where you want to put it. That way, when you make a video, you're going to be able to hear it well enough. And don't be surprised. Now, and if you do this at home, then you know your computer might be a little bit different. So you're going to have to figure out how to get your microphone to work, and how the video, how the how to make the audio at the right level. Okay, so that may be a challenge. Okay, so but I know I have that set up for myself. So when you're on this website um, to make a screencast, all you do is you click Start Recording. Okay, now they do. It is possible to download something um, like they show you here. If, if this little app that's loading now doesn't work, and you might have to say run, 
I'm going to say always run on this site. If it doesn't work, then you might have to download and install this little screencast program. I've done it that way as well, and it's a pretty good program. It's not going to put any malware on your computer or anything. So um, just go ahead and do that if you have trouble. But what's happening now is it's putting the little um, screen recorder onto my computer. Okay, and you probably will get this a couple times. This is a Java application, and you're going to have to give it permission to run. So I'm going to hit run. Comes up again and say run. And now what you're seeing is oh, it found a recording because I've been playing around with this. Yours won't do that. I'm going to delete the recording. It's just going to come up with this box. And whatever is in this box is the thing that's getting recorded. Um, I like to do screencasts of the entire screen. That's what I'm doing right now. So I'm going to set it to full screen. Okay, and then as soon as I hit this record button, it's going to record what's on my screen. It's interesting because I'm doing a screencast. I'm actually going to be doing a screencast within a screencast right now. Okay, so I hit start recording, and it gives me the countdown, and now it's recording what's on my screen here. Okay, now what you need to demonstrate is how to send uh, an email that has a link in it to a website or to, yeah, to a website. Okay, so obviously we need to go to mail. Okay, and the website that I'm going to have you email is the one, uh, is our tech website. So we're, I'm going to open my, my, our tech website here. Okay, and then in your email, you're going to say compose, and you're going to send this to me. So I'll send it to myself here. I'm actually not me right now. I'm this test guy. And the subject of the email is important. It's going to have to be um, uh, email hyperlink assignment. Okay? So I'm going to look for that subject. And it's important for you to use this exact subject, subject name. And now you can say, here's a link to the technology website. And um, what I could do is just go in and take this URL, and I could paste it here. And, it, and you can see that it looks special. It already recognized it as a link. Okay, but what I actually want you guys to do, I don't want you to do that. I want you to type click here to open the technology class website. Okay, and what you're going to do is you're going to highlight this. You're going to go down here. You're going to click the little insert link button. Okay, now it wants to know, well, where is that supposed to go? Well, this is where we want it to go, to this website. So I'm going to copy this. I'm doing Control-C, and I'm going to do Control-V now on my keyboard, and I'm going to go say OK. And this is your assignment. Okay, this is it. You just need to hit Send. Before you send it, what you should do is close this page and go in your email and just click on it. It won't go to it automatically. So you need to click on this where it says go to link and make sure that the site opens. Make sure it works. Once you know it works, then you can hit send. Okay? And I need you to do that, and I, but I need you to put it in a, into a screencast just like I just did here. So um, now um, I have the screencast going actually Alt-P will pause my recording. Okay? So it says it's paused, and I'm going to just say done, because I showed you in, in that screencast just now how to send a uh, link through an email. So when I hit done, it has all these questions. Uh, do you want to publish it to Screencast-O-Matic? You don't want to do that, because you need to have an account. Do you want to publish it to YouTube? Actually, I do want you to put it up on YouTube, but instead of doing it 
directly. Um, it's more conservative to publish it to a file first. So I'm going to hit publish to file. We can leave it as a quick time. We're going to leave it as full size. We're going to save it. Okay. Wants to know where we're going to save it to. So this is a uh, um, you can name it whatever you want and wherever you want as long as you can find it. This one's going to end up on my desktop. Okay, so you can do that too if you want. You could put it in my documents. You just need to know where to find it. So this is called email hyperlink assignment screencast. Okay, kind of a long name, but I like to have long descriptive names. Makes it easy to find things. And I hit save, and now what it's actually doing, it, it's going to take a little while. Okay, so it's actually taking that video that we just created of the screen, and it's saving it up to the desktop. Okay, and let me just show you what it's going to look like, because we're at 23%. So we just, I need to kill a little time here. Okay, so what I can do is look at my desktop, and actually here it is, but it's not done yet. I don't want to um, try to use it yet because it's still saving it. Okay, Th this was one that I did earlier just as a test. So you can see kind of what these files look like. Um, Windows, since it's a video file, kind of puts it in a film strip to give it away, you know, so you know what kind of file it is. Okay, now in order for, you, for me to know that you did the screencast assignment, you need to actually send it to me. Okay? So here in my uh, taskbar, this is screencast-o-matic. I'm going to take a look. Oh, see, I'm, it's almost done. Okay? So what you're going to do is you're going to, you, you already will have sent me one email um, when you do your test because you're going to send me a link to the Tech Class website. Now you're going to send me a second email. Okay? Okay, well now you finished your screencast um, and now you just, and, and actually you uploaded it to YouTube and now you just simply need to send me the link. What you probably noticed is in this screencast that you're watching there was a black screen and it said something like we'll be right back. The screencast actually died on me so I'm picking it up again and I'm actually stitching this together with my previous screencast and I'll teach you guys how to do that. Uh, someday as well. This screencast, I'm actually using Screencast-O-Matic, whereas an earlier one I used a different tool, uh, which is Google Plus Hangouts on Air. So, yeah, there's a lot going on, but you don't need to know that. Um, okay, so to finish your assignment, what you need to do is you need to um, actually find your uh, screencast on YouTube. Okay, so we can go over here to your YouTube channel. You can go to your video manager and you should see that your video is there, that it's been uploaded. Okay, if I click on it. It's recording I what's on my screen. Start watching it. Now this is the URL to the video that you just created and uploaded to YouTube. So you're gonna take this thing and you're gonna highlight it and do control C you're going to go here and um, you're going to compose a message, send it to me, and you're going to call it um, screencast assignment. And you will do control V and you're just going to send me the link. Okay? And then you hit send and I will get your screencast, okay? And then, then uh, that's what you'll get graded on. Okay, so that's it. Uh, I look forward to you getting all your screencasts. Um, so just to summarize, you're gonna have to ultimately send me two emails because you're gonna send me one email of a screencast, um, well actually a, of what you're doing a screencast of, which is uh, emailing me a link to the Tech Class website. So I'll get that email, and then I'm also going to get a second email from you, which is your actual video. Oh, one last thing, super important. 
actually, it's possible, it's probable that your video here on YouTube is private. Okay, so let me go back to my video manager. And let's say I'm going to uh, go to info and settings. If I go in here, oh, privacy settings, is, it's public. Yours might be private though, it might be set up differently than this one. Make sure this says public. If it says private and you send me a link to your video, I'll click on it and it's just going to tell me that I don't have the rights to view the video. So this one is, is fine. It was public and it's good, so um, it'll be viewable. It wants me to save the changes, but I didn't actually change anything, so I'm not going to. Okay, so that's it. Uh, I hope uh, you guys are all able to send me your screencasts. Okay, bye. I think I'm back on the air again. Uh, I have to add this little addendum to the video uh, because I forgot to tell you how to upload your screencast video to YouTube. Okay, so I'm going to give you some quick instructions. Now this piece of course happens after you created your screencast and then uh, before you actually email the video to me, you need to upload it to YouTube. Okay, so um, let me share my screen. and go to this user account. All right, so um, what you need to do to upload the video to YouTube is first of all go to the YouTube page and then hit the upload button. So that makes sense, right? Um, what will probably happen for you the first time you hit upload is it's going to ask you what name do you want to use for your YouTube channel. Um, the name you have to use, um, since this is a Calvin Christian YouTube channel, is your network username. In other words, one nine, first six uh, characters of your last name, next four characters of your first name. Okay, the same thing you use to log into Calvin's network. So make sure you enter that in. That's not showing up here because I already have this account set up. Okay, so um, what you need to do to get your video up on YouTube is just click on this big thing that says select files to upload. All right, and then uh, you need to find that video file. Now remember we saved it to the desktop, or I did. So I'm gonna click here on desktop and I have all this stuff on my desktop. Remember, I used a long descriptive file name so I could find my video. So I'm going to go over here, and there it is, email hyperlink assignment. Okay, And I'm going to open that, and it's going to upload it. And notice it's uploading it really fast. Okay, Once it's uploaded, I'm going to find it in my video manager, but even this link right here, that's the link that I can use and put in the email that you need to send for your assignment. Okay, so that's pretty much it. Um, after this thing is processed, I'll be able to go to the video manager and see the video. Okay, that's it. So hopefully that clarifies things for you. Okay, I hope it goes well.